And tomorrow is known as Quitters Day, which means that's when most people have likely given up on their New Year's resolution. And one of the most common resolutions is to lose weight. So if you're about to give up or just frustrated because they're not shedding those stubborn pounds, nutrition and fitness expert Jody Treeweiler is here to help. Thanks so much for being here, Jody. Hi, Mary. This is a hot topic. Certainly. I can't believe it's already Quitters Day. People are giving them up already. I didn't know that was like a thing. There was a term for this day. It happens well, for sure. Yeah, for yeah. sure. I know. I mean, it's, it's hard to it's hard to keep things going, resolutions going. But what's a huge misconception when it comes to weight loss success? Okay, so the number one thing when it comes to weight loss, and hopefully we already know this, is your diet. Yeah. That's going to affect your weight more than any other factor. And I think maybe people overeat and don't realize their mm -hmm. portion sizes are way too big. Yeah. We as humans could get away with at least a third less and our organs would thrive, our bodies would thrive, and we're hungry because sometimes we're eating the wrong foods. So this is a dish that I have at home. Okay. You can hold that. All right. This is what I'll use if I'm having a snack or I want to portion something out. Wow. Initially, it looks laughably small. Yeah, this is like something my two-year-old. Right, but no, <laughs> we're all eating way too yeah. much. We need yeah. to back off on the portions. Yeah. Uh, and then there's hidden sugar in things, mm -hmm. and I think we kind of all know this, but I just want to reiterate yeah. something like, I actually pulled this out of my own fridge, embarrassing as it is, because I don't control all my food in my house, but this is barbecue sauce. Yeah. And any barbecue sauce, take a guess at two tablespoons, how much sugar's in here? Oh. How many grams? Like, Ooh. I don't want to put you on the spot if you don't want to guess. In, in the tens. Probably. 17. Okay. 17. Yeah. So you could easily have two tablespoons of barbecue sauce on a piece of chicken. That's 17 grams of sugar. Yeah. 25 is the limit for a woman for a day. 35 for a man. That's a lot. Okay, so you got to take a look at the yeah. things that you're eating because even if you feel like you had a chicken breast and some broccoli but you had barbecue sauce, yeah. If yikes. It, if it tastes good. <laughs> Just have a look at those calories. Sometimes that could be the case, right? Yeah. So look at your diet. Try yeah. to decrease your portion sizes. That's going to be huge. And yeah. then... And what about exercise? Yeah, so I brought this little foam roller. I think a mistake that people make is they rely too heavily on exercise as a mm. weight loss tool. Okay. Now, exercise is incredible for us as people. It's yeah. incredible for your heart, for your lungs. We should be really doing it every single day. But as a weight loss tool, I yeah. think people put a little too much uh, weight on how many calories you can actually burn in a session. And right. it's, this does not supersede your diet in any way. It's like when people say, oh, I, I worked out so much today, I can go have like a burger. You know? Right. No, <laughs> they feel you, like they've earned it. Agreed. And yeah, it can, it can get into your head a little bit. Now, how important is a buddy system or yes. other kinds of support? So have you ever seen The Shining? Yeah. I brought the Grady oh, twins hey, here. Girl. And see how they're there okay. holding hands, yeah. doing a program and trying to lose weight without support or yeah. a cheerleader is really, really tough. It is. I love when my husband and I are on the same page with mm -hmm. eating things or if we're trying to eliminate gluten or things like sugar. Mm -hmm. You're going to double your efforts if you have someone in your life that's going to be your cheerleader and be your supporter. That's such a good point. And maybe they're the voice of reason when you're about to do something that you're going to regret later. <laughs> and they say, hold on, think it through, right? Yeah. But what I also will say is I don't want to live the craziest kind of life where I'm never going to enjoy things and eat popcorn. So for yeah. me, if you catch me, any of you viewers, and someone did this to me, caught me eating movie popcorn at the theater. And yes, I do, and I love movie popcorn, but I live that 80-20 right. rule right. where 80% of the time I'm living healthy, eating healthy, I can have that popcorn. Yeah. Or for me, I don't do dry January because I maybe have a glass of wine a week. Yeah. You know what I mean? So living in moderation, and then hold this sign up yeah. if you would, Meredith. Oh. So diets really don't work. Okay. And if you flip it, this ah, is me. This is just me now. Nice. This is how I live. 80% of the time, yep. you're making good choices. You're still exercising, but it has to be something you can sustain almost forever. It's a mindset. It's a lifestyle choice. Right. right? And so where can people find more of your really great ideas? Yep. You can find me at Jody's Fit Life, Jody with a Y, on Instagram or Facebook, or you can go to jodysfitlife.com to learn more. Oh, you've inspired me a little bit today. Thanks so much, Jody. Good. Thanks, Meredith.